Hello everybody and welcome back to another Bullcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Naruto episode 35. Last episode we saw Gara's sand coffin for the first time and that's mostly it. There's a lot of stuff at the beginning of Naruto getting like <laughs> <laughs> fucked with for not knowing what was going on while he was knocked unconscious which was pretty <laughs> stupid. And yeah we were introduced to Gara and his old squad. They were doing some crazy shit. Uh, uh, we saw the other squad yeah, uh, make it to the end. Make it to the end and then get immediately discredited credited by no one noticing that they made it to the end <laughs> and it wasn't like as fast it was like half a day it was it wasn't as fast as the sand people apparently but still pretty impressive i'm also kind of wondering why no one's like gone down to like get them yeah they're just waiting they're just that's the the tower is the finish line and then and so they're they waiting to wait there they're waiting for everyone else oh okay and it's also good because it's not like oh well, what are we gonna do while we wait it's like we just went through a life or death situation let's like sit and chill and rest oh, okay. and recover I, it just looked all like creepy and empty so it was it's just because no one's there yeah, yeah they, they're there and they have time to rest and repair that other people wouldn't have because like think about if you wait till the last second and yeah. then you finish and you finally get the scrolls and then you, and you move on to the next and thing then it's and... like all right we're moving on to the next challenge or whatever it is so okay yeah there you go uh but yeah we're gonna get right into naruto episode 35 yeah 35 let's go also, um, Akamaru, I was just thinking about this, I don't know if this is actually it. I'm pretty sure it is, though. I just put together that Akamaru's name means, like, baby boy, because <laughs> Maru is, like, a boy's, it's like, I think I was telling you at one point that Maru, like, with Konohamaru, mm -hmm. Maru is, like, son in Carson. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. And then Aka, Akachan. You remember the ending for Welcome to the NHK? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Akachan means baby, so it's okay. baby boy, basically, or little one or something, kind of like that. <laughs> Looks like a really nice water. Yeah. It's way nicer than some of the water in this series. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing fish in water like an idiot. <laughs> Whoa, well, seems to be working pretty good. <laughs> Come on, is that it? I only got three. Now go and do it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, oh, it's teamwork, my love. Naruto fucking look at the <laughs> scroll like a this piece of shit. The second exam began. Right. Is this a filler? We're sure not gonna break any records, and we only have 24 hours left. I wonder how many of the other teams have already got their scrolls and finished. I wonder when this fish is gonna be done. I could eat a whale! There's probably no one left in this forest anyway! So what do we do? This it's not a filler. Is. I'll go and try to find something unique. You guys rest. <laughs> hey. Yeah? If I remember right, I think the other scroll, it had heaven written on it. Mm hmm. I guess so. I wasn't really paying too much attention when they showed them to us. <laughs> Clearly. Anyway, why? What's the big deal all of a sudden? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're not really thinking. <laughs> That's a cheerful thought. Look, you said it yourself, Sasuke. This is the fourth day we've been out here. That means we've already used up 80% of the time we've got to complete the exam. Huh? And if those odds weren't bad enough, things have gotten even worse. And don't forget, that creep on Orochimaru burnt the heaven scroll we had. Yeah, I remember. The number of complete pairs of scrolls that could be found was reduced by one right there. Hmm? Not to mention all the ones that have been found and secured by other teams since then. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get serious now and make up for lost time. The next enemy we face could be our last chance. I'm gonna get water. <sighs> hey, Sakura! Huh? I know how you can do this without having to fight anyone. Look at what? What do you mean, look at what? Scrolls! I've got tons of them! We could change one of these to look exactly 
something like the heaven score. I don't even. Hmm? Even if you could take the outside, how do you think what's written inside? You couldn't know without reading it, and that's against the rules. Idiot. I've got it all figured out. I think these things have a secret code written in them that only makes sense if you put them both together. Yeah. All I get is that you're a Nimrod. <laughs> You read it. Sasuke comes back. Hey guys, on my way out for water, I I got I got a heaven scroll. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna open it. Careful, I think it's low. It might be booby trapped or something. Yeah, I thought of that. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> There's gonna be nothing inside. <laughs> Did I just get killed by that? <laughs> What do you think they did? What have you done? <laughs> don't do it. Now. Well, I mean, he's not going to. I don't think. <laughs> the same shot as before. Mm -mm. <laughs> Three hours Why does he have to go away for water when there's literally a stream right there? I can't believe you guys. There have been others <laughs> who've broken the rules and tried to take you to scrolls. I've seen what happens to them. They're protected by a powerful hypnosis jutsu, a kind of booby trap for anyone unwise enough to try to read them. It'll knock you senseless by the time you wake up. The exam is over. That was all right. We met at the registration. What are you doing wandering around all by yourself? Don't worry. I'm not after your earth scroll. I guess not. <laughs> I suppose if you were, you would have just swiped it from Naruto when you had the chance. So you're looking for a heaven scroll too, huh? Not really. You see, I already have them both. So, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> hold it. I'll fight you for it. Really? What a lucky break. Finish our fun! Naruto's got a point. We don't want to be ungrateful or anything. Shut up. <laughs> Sasuke? It can't be helped. It's either him or us. Out here, it's all about surviving and winning. Nothing else matters. Hmm. You're lying. Uh, yes? <laughs> Admit it. For all your tough talk, your heart really isn't in it. <laughs> if it was true, if winning was really the only thing that mattered to you, why openly challenge me to a fight? After all, that's what a ninja would do. Hmm. <laughs> that's pretty deep. <laughs> it's okay. Actually, that was my that's a great point. meme. But let's go. It's best you get out of here. The smell of that cooking fire is going to draw every wild beast in the forest. They keep mentioning, like, animals, but there hasn't really been any except for those snakes. There was the snakes, there was the leeches, there was the ti there were the tigers. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. But, uh, yeah, for the amount that they're talking about it, I would expect more. Like, our team to run into some more. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the most efficient way of finding the scrolls in an area as large as this? To go searching through the forest for them? <laughs> Uh, no? <laughs> no, you wait for them to come to you. So 
on the last day of the exam, that area will be crawling with teams converging on the tower with their scrolls. So yeah, I get it. <laughs> like an ambush. That's pretty cool. There's the tower, and that means the end is in sight. Well, it's about time. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Zero hesitation. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. You have buses? Do us a favor and try to keep it down to a dull roar, will you? Okay. See, the whole idea is not to let anyone know we're here. <laughs> we want to find them before they find us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time, <guys. laughs> nice one. Right. Nice. I'm crawling through them. Oh, shit. Damn, he's got invis. I feel like I should play some Halo 3. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Snorkeling. Mm -mm. <laughs> Slow and quiet. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a gun sight for a second. Oh my god. Ambush indeed. That's pretty cool. And it only gets worse from here on in. It's just sad. <laughs> Idiot. I wonder how that happened, huh? Oh shit. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, that was close. A substitution jutsu. Like I told you, it only gets worse from here on in. Damn, I was thinking I would steal your scrolls. <laughs> I was thinking that too. It's weird. Maybe not. It would seem we've been spotted. Somebody is playing games with us. Look, ring a bell. Huh? Oh man, no way, it can't be! Mm -mm. Hey, what's the big idea? Genjutsu. That's what it looks like. And wait, they'll break completely. We were so concerned with not being seen by anyone. That's their game. They're probably trying to wear us down, and then strike when we're frustrated and physically exhausted. You mean like we are right now? <laughs> Precisely. That's disturbing. It's really scary, <laughs> actually. They look really freaky. Techno zombies. <laughs> All right, Naruto. <laughs> Naruto episode 35. Bit of a slower episode. Bit of a slower episode. Uh, they sort of a regroup. They, we, they like rested up fish. for a few. Yeah, they regrouped and rested up for a few days, which I think was pretty cool. It makes way more sense than them just like, all right, this challenge is still on. We got to go, you guys. They're like, no, let's just chill out by this creek for like literally three days until we're fully yeah. recovered. Or at least as much as can The weird thing possible. about that, though, is what, what we were just talking about with, like, the animals. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, the ravenous beasts are out here. But they were just chilling for, like, days. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. That's I feel like they could. They were strong enough to deal with some, with, like, I they, feel you like see how they fast were, they killed that, just... like, literally, that centipede, like, Sagara said, the size of a bus. No, you I just guess kill it with true. one knife. I guess that's true. It just does seem weird that they, like, talk about it so much and it's shown so little true yeah yeah um because even those snakes i barely count them because they were being controlled you know like they, they weren't just yeah there. exactly they were like they, yeah. like those tigers were there those leeches those leeches, but those were, there, leeches, but those were, leeches also... were also being controlled so the only thing even though they're not that... quite insects are they are leeches insects they're like slugs yeah like... they're like worms yeah anyway <gasps> Yeah, but it's just weird, like, that they say that all the the forest is so dangerous, mm -hmm. but in terms of it actually being dangerous, there has been no point that anyone, any one of the students, the only person who was ever in danger was, like, what, what's it called, like, the instructor, the, um... 
the lady the like the proctor um, yeah the Anko, proctor Anko, Anko. yeah the only person who has actually been in danger by a beast was Anko and it was because she was fucked up from fighting Orochimaru yeah so I mean I guess they're just letting you assume that the other teams are dealing with this but it is just a little bit weird to not there's not like there there hasn't been like we haven't seen or heard of another team falling prey and getting taken out of the game by just like Some a tiger nature, yeah. like yeah it's been like there's been aspects of it but it hasn't played a serious role no that's okay I, and i think it has to do with it's a it might be a writing thing because okay so naruto takes a lot from hunter hunter the more i watch it uh and i won't spoil what happens in hunter hunter but there's a very similar thing in at the start of hunter hunter during the there's like a similar exam arc where like a hundred plus people are trying to get like a certification or, or get upgraded and they're touring through like this jungle and immediately like they they go through a trial and now they're like oh shit now we're in this jungle uh what's going on there's like fog everywhere it's super scary and part and a huge part of the threat immediately what happens is the, the it's just a bunch of like random characters no, nobody but it shows you there's a giant frog with like it, it's i think it's like a frog in waiting is what they call it. it's like a magical beast that like literally sits there it's just this giant stupid looking frog and it just eats whatever gets to it and then there's giant like uh plants very similar to in seven seeds that mm. eat you and dissolve yeah. you uh there's a <laughs> noggin login brontosaurus or some <laughs> shit it's like this big dinosaur with like mushrooms on it or something <laughs> that like eats you like and, and bugs and everything, they and there's mushrooms that, like, emit spores that, that like, grow mushrooms on you or something. Like, it's, it's there's a bunch of weird shit like that, and it's the it's part of the introduction. Yeah. That, like, okay, you entered this place, you could easily, if you're not careful, you could easily die to all this shit. And here's, like, 30 people who just got mm. absolutely murdered by just random yeah. shit, rather than, and they did that with the leeches in this, and they did it a little bit with the tigers, but no, nothing of consequence actually that, happened. that, like, when they were, like, talking about it, like, maybe when, um, she was like, alright guys, this is the exam, this is what's gonna happen, they had maybe had, like, sort of like a... I don't know, like a... Not, like, a flashback, but, like, a short little montage of, like, beasts, like, killing people from like previous things Years? or whatever yeah i like, don't here's know. an instructional video <laughs> no 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 like, not showing to them just like flashes for us of like when they're she's like oh yeah there's tigers or whatever and then it's just like oh i the, see the yeah. tigers as and an the, example yeah, yeah. And as a visual example for us because obviously she's talking about it to them like oh there's all these tigers there's leeches there's this there's that mm -hmm. um and I'm sure they, being from that world, already know what those things could look like mm -hmm. or will encounter them during the exams. But I feel like a visual for us would be a good way to know, all right, we aren't going to see this happening to people we know, mm -hmm. but we're going to be more aware of the fact that it is a, possibility. Is, is a possibility and that it is probably going on in the background yeah. because we don't see it. So it's like, they say that, but it hasn't happened to literally anyone that we've seen. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming it probably hasn't happened to anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. And it, it, there's a fine line there because like they literally like show don't tell that rule yeah. in writing. Like they literally are telling us that they're magical beasts and they are kind of showing it. That would just be another thing of telling. Cause it's like, Oh, watch out for this stuff. And we just wasted that time telling you about something that isn't going to affect the story at all. I guess. So I see that. And part of the reason I think, like, I was tr I was trying to get to this. I lost my train of thought when I was talking about Hunter x Hunter. But there's already, they already limited people drastically. Like, they, there yeah. was, like, oh, I forget the numbers, but a hundred at least people in, in the written thing. And then there was, like, 30-something or maybe more than that, but far less, less than half of the people in the, in, in that pass the right written portion and going into this. So they don't have a lot of expendable people to show if, yeah. if they want to bring people to the next stage, they don't have a lot of expendable people to show this is what could happen to you. I guess, et cetera. I mean, yeah, I guess the, not the, even people dying, but even just like, I don't know. Fighting, maybe there's like silver, like... a giant silver fish who eats paper <laughs> scrolls and now your scroll is eaten by these silver fish. Or some, some weird shit like that. Like, watch out for this magic silverfish. They'll eat your scroll and then you can't ex move on. Yeah, but the, the magic... I, I do... I agree with you, though. I do wish it could... 
it was a bigger thing. Uh, is there anything else? I, I, that I, 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 don't know, I just want to say it's not a huge deal. It's not a huge it's deal, but it's just a missed opportunity. Th- yeah. is what it is. It's like especially when they waste so much extra time on like holding the shot on something for a little bit too long. Mm-hmm. I think um, also it's harder to draw because those tigers looked weird. Yeah. Those tigers, like, it's easier for people to draw people, like, an- especially anime characters. Like, animators spend so much time drawing people or drawing specific characters so they kind of understand how to do it and follow somebody else's design and animate to that. But drawing a new creature doing stuff, mm-hmm. like a centipede even, like, that's pretty easy, but... I don't know, yeah. mo- what if there was just, like, a bunch of, a, a tribe of howler monkeys who lived in that, like, just, uh, or a troop, rather, and or, or, like, a bunch of weird shit. They'd have to, like, be a lot more creative, I guess. Yeah, I which guess is, that's true. And spend but a lot I, more budget on that I do even characters. wish just that centipede shot that they just had, if they had made that more like the centipede was attacking them, not mm. just the centipede Not just Naruto, was, like, ah! Like, with not that just bunny? The, yeah, not just the centipede, like, crawling up a tree. Yeah. If the centipede had been, like, coming at them, because then that would like again be like oh they are the dangerous danger. exactly yeah yeah, yeah. cuz um, I, I guess i'm not really complaining of the lack of the animals just the lack of the the significance. actual significance and danger and why you keep bringing it up mm-hmm. all the time like not only will you have to face the other ninja you will also have to face the treacherous forest and i'm like yeah, it's like, oh, it, I, I see, yeah, it's, it's especially when Anka was talking about, there's not a scratch on them, the Sand Ninja, I think it was last episode, when yeah. she was just like, yeah, how did they make it past the, the copious amounts of beasts? <laughs> yeah, the, that's, when you that's get, you what can assume also... they probably didn't run into a single one on the way there. Like, yeah, like, I mean, I'm, like, because I'm thinking, I'm like, Naruto's group has only run into snakes one time, and only because they were being controlled to attack them. What if, oh, what, another thing to improve it, what if uh, they had, like, instead of Naruto and Sasuke fishing just koi fish or trout, what if they were, like... Fighting the fish? There was Yeah, it, it was weird, like, crab monster oh, yeah, that, was, like, crawled out of there. There's some kind of danger. You can't just casually swim in the creek. It's mm-hmm. like, all right, if we spend too much time in this creek, we could get got by this, yeah, exactly. this creature. Yeah, or like it just—it just seemed like yeah. they were relaxing by the beach. Exactly. Yeah, and that, that didn't kind of sit well danger. with me. Yeah, I guess I don't know. We wasted that, a lot of time talking about that, but it's—it's it's just... it's, it's significant. I don't know. It's—it's it's just one of those things that could Im- it, the show could be improved, and it's—it's it's one of those things like because when you're watching stuff like this, it, you understand the limitations, and but something like that could. Uh, improve the quality of the writing and the show and the world and, and everything that you're setting up without w- while you could work in those parameters of we have a low budget mm-hmm. all this shit like there's a lot of things that are, need to be worked with and writing decisions like that it, it's just an ex- example of, of uh, yeah, missed opportunities e- and bad even writing for that like fishing part at the beginning even if it, ha- it just had like a series of like still frames of like naruto getting like attacked by a crab or mm-hmm. something like I don't know. It, I just feel like it would take it to the next level because right now it just seems there's no danger in this forest other than other people. Yeah, yeah. And they and hyped they keep it up saying, so much. Yeah, they keep hyping it up. I wouldn't have if an they're issue. They're not delivering on I it. I would not have an issue if they just mentioned it like one time. Mm-hmm. But they mentioned it literally almost in every episode. Yeah. They like bring it up. They're like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. the animals in this forest are dangerous. <laughs> but. Um. Anyway, um, any, anyway, we'll drop that for now because that's that's going a little too far. But next episode, we seem to be getting a bunch of the those are the that's the rain symbol, the hidden mm-hmm. rain village. It's like in between. Um, there's like the land of earth, the land of wind, and then the land of fire. So like the rock village, the sand village, and then the leaf village. In between their borders is the hidden rain village, and they have they they all are like the cyber or the, yeah, kind of like the cyberpunk or like the steampunk aesthetic where they all have like respirators and weird machines like th- those guys that uh, gara smushed yeah uh, the previous episode they were all hidden rain as well mm-hmm. they're not really they're they're not one of the main powers but they're uh one a significant village so that's pretty cool yeah that's pretty interesting i i really like i didn't notice the first time i was watching because you don't really pay attention to that unless yeah, someone like me knows mm-hmm. and tells you but they all have a very consistent sort of aesthetic style, of style, yeah. yeah, and style, and it's really cool to see that because the the Sand Village they they're kind of uh, distinct, at least like, but from Gara, Conqueror, and Tamari, they don't look that much different than like the Leaf Ninja. Yeah, no, and the, they look and the pretty... Grass Village Ninja don't look that much different than the Leaf Ninja. But these guys, the Hidden Rain Village, have a very distinct look to them. Yeah, and the cool. the Sound Villages 
well, they all have yeah. they all were like wearing matching outfits and, and stuff. they all had like technological implements like the one guy yeah. had the thing on his arm the other guy had tubes in his hands like mm-hmm. up going up his arms that like blasted chakra and shit uh, and then the chick i don't think we actually saw what her no, deal was see. but um yeah so it, it's really cool and that 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 happens later in the show but it's it, it goes in a different direction like there isn't this much um it, it, it it's because it's early in the writing process i feel like kishimoto was sort of exploring different motifs and stuff like that hmm. and he hasn't really picked kind of a direction to go in as far as the aesthetic that naruto is other than like early 2000s kind of hip-hop weirdly <laughs> infused like style of you know like the bleach head and stuff like that it has it, it has its own style but he, he's sort of still experimenting with all these mm-hmm. different motifs and everything it's really cool to see that was something that i noticed is there anything yeah, else you um, noticed about the show or anything you wanted to say well it looks like we're like gearing up for a fight again yeah and they, they've been watched by these guys for like a for while episodes like long they've just been stalked by that one guy who's like in the trees yeah. watching them i think we could just move on i think we're just yeah. gonna move on to the next episode hope you guys enjoyed our discussion hope you guys enjoyed our reaction make sure you like the video Make sure you check out our previous reactions. Check out our Kaguya reactions. Those are doing really good. Uh, if you found us through our Kaguya reactions, hopefully hopefully you enjoy these videos. I forgot to say this episode that I've seen Naruto. Every time, forget. Keep reminding me, because I, I, I need it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later. We're binging right now.